So today, out of curiosity, I'm going to check the transmission modulation pressure on my RED124 project. I'm armed with my documents and also a self-made vacuum plug for the line to the modulator valve. Let's get started. So the test ports on the transmission are 12 millimeter bolts and we'll need to remove that to access it. And this one here is for the modulation pressure. That is the modulator vacuum box, which we need to disconnect for the test. And its vacuum line is running up the top there. So a little bit difficult to access, but not too bad. Now ideally I would use a right angle adapter here, uh, but I didn't think of that when I was coming up with this solution, but this does work, it's just not ideal. And I'm just about to disconnect that vacuum line. And this is what I've done here, I've disconnected it and I've put my piece in the end there to block that off. Now ideally the hose could have been a little bit longer, but it's still usable the way it is. Um, I'm just going to find my version of the transmission in here. I have uh, clearly identified it so I could find it somewhat easily in future. And uh, here it is. So it's the Australia version 722.359 and it should be 3.8 bar modulation pressure with vacuum disconnected. So let's see what it is. Now we can already tell that it's uh, slightly out of spec. It's supposed to be 3.8 bar and it's almost 4. So it's 3.9 and a bit. So now that's reverse selected. We saw that uh, made the shift and it went straight back up to where it was. That's what it's supposed to do. That's neutral. That's drive, slightly longer to apply, but it's there and goes back basically where it was. Back to neutral. Reverse again. And neutral. and the bleed down with the engine shut down. Out of interest with the manifold vacuum connected, there is basically no reading whatsoever from the modulator test port. Now this is not a valid test and uh, I don't believe it's documented at all, so I'm not overly concerned about that. So this is a close up of the vacuum box itself. Um, you notice there's like a volume gauge on the side here that's because the cap rotates for fine-tuning adjustment. Allegedly up to 0.2 bar of adjustment can be achieved just by rotating that cap. Now, if you want more adjustability, you need to remove that cap. Uh, it's just clipped on either side. They say it breaks, but if you're careful, it doesn't, and you can reuse it. So I will have to investigate Blue Black's firmer shifts when I get it up on the hoist next. I suspect someone has cranked up the modulation pressure because it had a worn out reverse when I first got it.